Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video and as you can see I look a little glowy today Just a tad glowy from the title You can obviously tell I am doing the full face with highlighters challenge So I believe the first person to do this was Maria. That's amazing. She's so creative I'm gonna link her channel in the description below so you guys can check her out and then it's become such a big thing now Jeffree Star did it Nikki tutorials did it it's this new challenge going around and I just couldn't wait to try it out myself So obviously this look is not really you know an everyday look. I don't even think I'm gonna leave the house. I mean, unless you're into that. I feel like brighter than the sun right now. I am brighter than my own future right now. Like, this is insane, but I love it. I had so much fun doing it, and I really hope that you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And just please don't take it too seriously. It's honestly just a challenge, just to show what you can really do with your highlighters. I did cheat here and there just a little bit, but it was mostly just to make it actually work on my skin tone. Don't call me out for that because it was necessary unless you wanted me to look like an Oompa Loompa, you feel me? So I can't wait to show you guys the true potential of highlighting. So to prime, I'm using Max Strobe Cream. This is honestly like my number one choice for this challenge because it makes your skin so luminous. I don't know if you saw it, it just dripped off my nose. That was so funny. And this is where I had to cheat just a tad. I had to mix my foundation with the luster drops that I was gonna use as like all over my face but when I tried to use it all over my face it was so dark it's in the color Barbados girl which you know was just way too dark for me so here I'm just mixing it with my moisture foundation from Mac and NC25 and I'm using my brand new kabuki brush from Tarte I'm loving this so much for foundation lately it does such a good job of buffing it in so quickly and look at my skin, so luminous already. So this is Max Yellow Topaz. It's a cream um, highlight, and I'm gonna put that kind of like a concealer underneath my eyes, and really anywhere else I would usually put a concealer to highlight, so like my cupid's bow, my forehead, and the bridge of my nose. And then to set that, I'm gonna be using ABH's Glow Kit, and I'm using Sunburst right under my eyes, putting it exactly where I put yellow topaz, just to make sure we're setting with the powder because it was just really creamy and that would be super creasy. You feel me? Super crazy. So this is the Carly Bible palette. I'm gonna be using this a lot for this challenge because it has four highlighters, and I'm using the second darkest one to, you know, bronze the face up and just really subtly contouring. I'm gonna intensify that contour right now with gold deposit for MAC. So I'm gonna take my 224 brush to get a little bit more precision, really put that right underneath the hollows of my cheeks. Now to clean it up a bit, I switched back to my 133 brush, didn't add any more product on it. This is what we use to set the under eye, and I'm just going over that right underneath the hollows of the cheeks. Now for blush, I'm using the two darkest shades in MAC's Faintly Fabulous Skin Finish, and I'm gonna use my new Sigma brush in F40. This is a large angled contour brush. It's really like a dupe for MAC's 168 brush. The only difference is that this one is synthetic, but it still works amazing. I honestly kind of like it a little better. Now for all the spots that I would normally highlight, I'm using MAC's Light Scapade. Now this is the lightest highlighter that I have, and I'm even intensifying it more with MAC's Fix Plus because we really need it to kind of outdo the other highlights that we did. And to do that, I'm using the Dual Fiber Brush. It's the 287 brush for MAC. It's a short-handled version. And this is just going in all the main spots you'd normally highlight. And then again, I'm going over top of that with Soft and Gentle for MAC, doing the exact same thing, really trying to get it as intense as I can because this is the part that you really just want to be seen from space. Now to brighten the under eye, I'm going back in with the Carly Bible palette, but with the lightest color. And just because what I used before was a little too yellow, this is gonna brighten right underneath my eye. It's a little more pink. Now moving on to the eyes, I am using a regular eyeshadow primer, but I'm gonna set it with a highlight, so just you wait. But I just wanted to really make sure that the highlight was intense and wouldn't crease and get all crazy, so this is Soft Ochre from MAC. Now you guys know how I do my brows. I'm using the Dip Brow Pomade in Medium Brown. I did it off cam, but if you wanna see how I do my brows, I have a video Video on that. Now back in with Max Faintly Fabulous, I'm gonna set the primer like I told you I would, just with the lightest shade, and then I'm going in with the darkest shade for the transition shade. So I'm using my 224 brush. Wow, well, I said shade a lot in that. So my 224 brush is just the regular transition shade brush that I always go in with, just really putting that right above my crease and blending it out. Now to deepen the crease, I'm going in with the darkest shade in the Carly Bible palette. I'm using my E39 Sigma brush. This brush is amazing for buffing out the crease for deep set eyes because it is a little bit of a smaller, more controlled buffing brush. So that's what I'm doing here, just putting it on the outer corners and the crease. And now I'm just taking a pencil brush. I'm using the 219 brush from MAC and I'm bringing that to my lower lash line 
and just buffing it out with the exact same shade. This has given us a really warm, bronzy, smoky eye. I'm liking it. So the inner corner highlight is Max Light Scapade. This was perfect for the inner corner and brow highlight. I was using my 231 mini shader brush from MAC and it worked perfectly, loving it. Now I chose the Oh Darling highlight from MAC as my all over the lid color because it is super bronzy and gold. I sprayed it with Fix Plus and I was actually super surprised. Like I knew it'd be pretty, but I didn't think it would be that intense and gold and gorgeous. So I'm gonna always use this as an eyeshadow now. Now I've been trying the Kat Von D ink liner and I picked it up because one of you actually suggested that I try it out and I'm actually loving it. So thank you for the suggestion. I forgot who it was that, you know, told me to go pick it up, but it's a new favorite. It's very jet black, doesn't move around at all and it's super easy to apply. So leave me more suggestions about your favorite products so I can try them out. Now for my waterline, I'm quickly going in with Max Power Surge. It's a very gold liner and I thought that'd be perfect for this highlighted look or highlight challenge. Now for mascara, I'm using Tarte's newest mascara. It's the Tardis mascara. I've been trying this out for a while and I wanted to talk to you guys about it because I really like it. It's definitely my go-to every day, especially when I'm not wearing lashes because it makes your lashes so thick. But if you don't like really, really thick lashes, then don't go for this mascara. Because if you use too many layers, it could become kind of like clumpy, but I'm still feeling this mascara, so I use it. Now for lashes, Lashes. These are my current favorites. They're the MAC number 48 lashes. I just threw them on off camera and this is the lip products that I use. So I used three products. First I tried out MAC's Tanorama because this is so intense and frosty. kind of like a highlight on its own. I sometimes do use it for a highlighter to be honest. So I toned it down actually with um, cultured lip pencil from MAC and I threw some Ariana Grande lip gloss over top. And of course, to complete this challenge, you must set your face with Fix Plus or some sort of setting spray. This is gonna really intensify the highlight and just set all those patterns that we used. This is the finished look, you guys. My face could give a bish a tan. That's how bright it is. I'm serving Tin Man realness right now. I'm just, you know, glowing brighter than anything. So that is the end of the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was so awesome to try and see if I could actually do my full face in highlighters, and apparently I, I could. Look at this. And why not, right? Makeup is fun. It's meant to be played with and try different things. So I can't wait until the next trend comes around and we can make a challenge out of it because I love these type of videos. Since this video is all about highlighting, let me know down in the comments what your favorite highlighting product is. I would definitely have to say mine is Oh Darling for MAC right now. It is just gorgeous, darling. It is gold and beautiful and works perfect with my skin tone and I wish it was not limited edition. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy this challenge. Follow me on all my social media if you aren't already. Don't forget to subscribe, obviously. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I feel like my mom didn't really approve of him because she could just tell that we were like super attracted to each other.